Hello there, divine love to you. And welcome back for those of you who are returning. It's me, oh, Laura, once again. For anyone new to the channel, welcome. It's so good to see that so many people are seeking truth these days and educating themselves on what's going on during these times. I hope that I've given you something on your spiritual journey, if not in this video, but in others. And that if you enjoy the content, that you hit subscribe, turn your notifications on so that you'll stay up to date with new content as it comes because it is my greatest intention is to educate people who are looking for truth and to also help them in their journey, especially during these very trying times that the world is going through. And that's a part of what this video is about today. It's about spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare and spiritual attacks kind of go hand in hand. So knowing the signs and symptoms of spiritual warfare will help give you some insight into spiritual attacks too, although I'll cover that a little bit more in the future. But for now, knowing the signs of spiritual warfare will help you to identify it if you're going through it. And then in this video, I'll also include ways to cope. I hope that you enjoy it and that it's helped you in some way. I hope you know that you're loved here at my channel, whether you're new or returning, and I will see you later on. As a spiritualist, my journey has been profoundly guided by a connection to the divine which I share through my Allura's Angels website. Within this platform, I have dedicated a column titled The Angelic Herald, where I convey prophetic messages that have come to me through intuitive inspiration and spiritual insight. In this column, I have consistently warned that we are witnessing the emergence of many signs that indicate we are moving toward the end times. These signs are not merely coincidental. They are a reflection of the spiritual warfare that is increasingly manifesting in our world. I have observed a growing tumult in both personal and collective experiences, suggesting that the battle between light and darkness is intensifying. This spiritual warfare is characterized by confusion, division, and conflict, both within individuals and in society at large. The Bible itself is rich with references to the spiritual battles that will unfold during the end times. For instance, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 reminds us, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. These principalities and powers represent various forms of spiritual opposition that seek to distract, deceive, or deter us from our spiritual path. Understanding spiritual warfare is important for anyone seeking to fight through the complexities of faith and the challenges of the modern world. But what is it? Well, spiritual warfare refers to the ongoing battle between good and evil, light and darkness that exists in the spiritual realm and impacts our daily lives. It is not merely a metaphorical concept, but a profound reality that manifests in various forms, influencing our thoughts, emotions, relationships, and spiritual journeys. At its core, spiritual warfare is the struggle against spiritual forces that seek to undermine our faith, sow discord, and lead us away from our divine purpose. This battle is often invisible, making it easy to overlook or dismiss. However, its effects can be seen in the turmoil we encounter in our lives and the world around us. The battle in spiritual warfare is largely fought in the mind and heart. Thoughts, doubts, and fears can become powerful weapons used against us. The enemy often employs tactics such as temptation, discouragement, and deception to create a rift between us and our spiritual connection. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 4 to 5 reminds us, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, 
casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Recognizing the signs of spiritual warfare is crucial. This awareness enables us to identify when we are under attack and to respond accordingly. Discernment involves understanding the source of our thoughts and feelings, whether they align with love, peace, and truth, or with fear, anger, and confusion. In 1 John 4 verse 1, we are advised to test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This call to discernment is vital in working through spiritual challenges. Since this is so important and we are seeing more and more of this today, I wanted to repeat the list of symptoms of spiritual warfare here so that you can write them down for future references and have awareness for yourself. One, persistent doubts, constant questioning of your beliefs, faith or purpose, often accompanied by feelings of confusion. Two, unexplained fear or anxiety, sudden and intense feelings of fear or anxiety that seem disproportionate to your circumstances. Three, frequent conflicts, increased arguments or tensions in relationships, often over trivial matters. Four, loss of peace, a pervasive sense of unrest or turmoil, even in situations where you previously felt calm. Five, negative thought patterns, a barrage of intrusive or negative thoughts that undermine your self-worth or faith. Six, physical symptoms, unexplained physical ailments, fatigue, or other health issues that seem to arise without clear causes. Seven, isolation, a tendency to withdraw from friends, family, or community, leading to feelings of loneliness and despair. Eight, desire to give up, feelings of hopelessness or a strong urge to abandon your spiritual practices or goals. Nine, increase in temptation. Heightened struggles with temptations, whether related to substance abuse, relationships, or harmful behaviors. 10, nightmares or disturbing dreams. Frequent nightmares or dreams that leave you feeling anxious or fearful upon waking. 11, difficulty praying or focusing, a sense of distraction or resistance when trying to pray, meditate, or engage in spiritual practices. 12, unexplained, anger or irritability, sudden outbursts of anger or irritability that seem out of character for you. 13, feeling oppressed or heavy, a sense of spiritual heaviness or oppression that weighs down your spirit. 14, loss of interest in spiritual activities. A sudden disinterest in attending services, reading spiritual texts, or engaging in community worship. 15, increased criticism or judgment. Heightened feelings of criticism toward yourself or others, often leading to harsh self-judgment. 16, unusual circumstances or setbacks a series of unexpected setbacks or obstacles that hinder your progress in life or spirituality. 17, struggling with forgiveness, difficulty in forgiving others or yourself, leading to feelings of bitterness or resentment. 18, feeling disconnected from God, a profound sense of distance from God or a perceived lack of divine presence in your life. 19. Overwhelming guilt or shame. Intense feelings of guilt or shame that seem unfounded or disproportionate to your actions. 20. Heightened sensitivity to spiritual matters. Becoming more aware of spiritual dynamics in your life, including recognizing signs, symbols, or messages that point to spiritual struggle. Coping with spiritual warfare requires a multifaceted approach that nurtures one's spiritual, emotional, and mental well-being. 
strengthen your faith. Regular prayer can serve as a powerful tool for seeking guidance, strength, and protection. Establish a consistent prayer routine to connect with the divine and fortify your spirit. Scriptures can provide comfort, wisdom, and reminders of God's promises. Take time to reflect on your thoughts and feelings. Being aware of negative thought patterns or emotional triggers can help you identify when you are under spiritual attack. Learn to discern the source of your thoughts and emotions. Assess whether they align with love, peace, and truth, or with fear, doubt, and confusion. Surround yourself with supportive individuals who share your beliefs. Find a spiritual mentor or accountability partner to share your struggles and victories. Having someone to encourage and support you can be invaluable. Incorporate meditation or contemplative practices to center your mind and foster inner peace. These practices can help you connect with the divine and cultivate resilience. Engage in worship through music, art, or other forms of expression. Praising the divine can shift your focus from challenges to gratitude and joy. Prioritize self-care practices that nurture your physical and emotional well-being. This includes getting enough rest, good nutrition, and activities that bring you joy. And if none of that helps, seek professional help. If you find spiritual warfare significantly affecting your mental health, consider seeking professional help. A therapist or spiritual advisor can provide guidance and strategies to cope with anxiety, depression, or trauma. Remember that you are not alone in your struggles. Trust in the divine presence to guide you through difficult times. By working with these strategies, you can build a strong foundation to cope with spiritual warfare. Embracing faith, good health, and self-awareness will empower you to confront challenges with courage and resilience, ultimately leading to spiritual growth and deeper connection with the divine. Well, there you have it. And I really hope that with this presentation, I was able to educate you a little bit better on the signs and symptoms of spiritual warfare and to help you to understand it more so that you can battle on through these difficult trying times. You know, we have to be soldiers of God and we have to stick together and be united. Spreading the word and having an education about these spiritual things can really, really help. It goes a long way, it really does. I sent you all my love and thanks again for being here and I'll see you next week.